You know, when most people have a bad day, they start looking outside themselves. Maybe the boss is upsetting me. Maybe the house is dirty. Maybe traffic is too heavy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's always these external reasons why people are having a bad day. But in this video, I'm gonna point out a few things that people do to themselves that make them have a bad day. And when you're having a bad day, check this list of things that I'm gonna mention in this video and see what you're not doing. Very simple. Most of the time, it's these things that we're not doing that create a lousy day for us. So next time you feel unhappy in your day, or you're feeling depressed, or life has just got you down, you can always say to yourself, Terry G told me to think about this, these things. Here we go. First one is how much sleep are you getting? When you're in your teens, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20, well, 20 is not really in your teens, is it? You know, you can run out four or five hours sleep, no problem. But as adults with children, job, responsibilities, we all need seven to eight hours sleep of great sleep every day of the week every day of the week. So if you're feeling really rotten one day, just check back the last couple of days and see how much sleep you got. Because it's all right maybe to sleep three hours or four hours, one, maybe even two nights. I know for me, I go crazy if I don't get enough sleep. But if you're sleep deprived over three or four days, come Friday at the end of the week, you're gonna be so tired and you're gonna feel so down in the dumps. That's number one. Check how much sleep you're getting. If you're not getting enough sleep, shame on you. Get to bed early, get off the laptop, get off the computer, get off Netflix, and get to bed and have a great night's sleep because you'll be happier. You will be happier. Number two, pay attention to what you're eating. If you get up in the morning, run out the door and just have a coffee in one of those granola bar things, and you're wondering why you're feeling agitated or you're feeling anxious and you're not calm at work, it's because you're not eating properly. One of the main reasons people have downer days is because they're not eating properly, you're not paying attention to what you're putting into your body. Maybe you're putting too high of sugar, too many sugar drinks in your body. Maybe you're eating too many chips and chocolate bars throughout the day. This causes you to be anxious. It causes you to, be, to feel more stressed out. It really does. So pay attention to what you're eating. Drink lots of water, four to five glasses of water each day. Try and eat three square meals a day vegetables with fruit, a little bit of meat, some chicken. Try and do that, but try and eat properly. So next time you're having a bad day, you're feeling a little anxious, see what you've eaten for that day. And you might be surprised because when you eat properly, you'll feel calmer, you'll think better, you'll feel better, and your stress levels will go down because you'll give your body fuel to take on the world. And what is the number three thing on my list? The number three thing on my list is exercise. Are you exercising enough? Nowadays, a lot of people go to work and they sit on their butt all day long and they really don't do a lot but eat junk food and maybe drink a lot of coffee. I know I see office workers around where I work and that's what they're all doing, drinking a lot of coffee, sitting on their duff all day and they wonder why they feel lethargic or they feel tired or there's no energy or they just feel down because working out or exercising really really, really benefits you. And if you could do it 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, your whole spirits will be uplifted and you'll feel better about your life in general. And just a sidebar, did you know if you went for a 10 or 20 minute walk around the block, the results from that walking well, is tremendous. It reduces heart disease, stroke, it'll reduce blood pressure, it's good for diabetes, and also it'll relieve stress in your life. And who knows, if you take a friend with you, you can talk about life and have a little fun while you're walking. So number three is exercise. Exercise as much as you can during the week. At least 15 to 20 minutes a day is the recommended amount of time to exercise. And number four is managing your stress levels. Just to start off with, there's two kinds of stresses. There's a good stress and there's a bad stress. Number two, the good stress would be like going to the gym, stressing your body out, you're going to the gym, you're, you're stressing yourself, but it's a really good stress. You get a lot of positive, positive results from that stress. The second one is negative stresses. Like when you get up in the morning, you're not even out of the house, and you got a big to-do list for that day. So balancing your day or balancing your time during that day and keeping an eye on your stress levels, because if you get a feeling of being overwhelmed or you put yourself on a big timeline, 
during your day, it's going to cause you stress. So before you start your day or maybe the night before, make a list of things that you want to get accomplished that day and maybe one, two, three, four in importance. So feeling overwhelmed or managing your stresses, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on those kind of things. We all have stress in our lives. We all have responsibilities. But a lot of times we put our stresses, the stresses of life, we, we put on ourselves. We really do. So take a look at that. Take a hard look at that. And number five is fun. Do you ever have fun? Like I'm not talking about the fun going drinking a bottle of wine or smoking a few doobies. I'm not talking about that kind of fun. Like I'm talking about maybe call a friend up, have a few laughs or go out for a walk or go out for dinner. But make time in your daily life to have some fun. Have some laughter in your life. Look at the lighter side of life throughout the day and go out of your way to have fun. Do that, it's really important. We have to make time for that nowadays because we're always so busy, okay? I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please comment below or subscribe to my channel. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows and have a great day. Thank you.